I'm Hannah. I'm Benji, hello. And uh, let's just, this here, just pass it Got here. It towards you. Yeah, because I'm not actually in it. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. Because it's not just a bag. It's a, it's a, a changing mat. It's a transformer. It's a changing mat. Look, open it out and stand on it. I'm trying. There we go. I am actually going to take some clothes off. Just, you know, this is what we We're do. demonetized. <laughs> What it's called. Look, so Excellent. you have to imagine I'm really lucky after a ride, okay? Now where you're standing looked to be a little bit more comfy than I thought it might be. Probably yeah, to what? do with a 10 mil closed cell phone base for comfort. Comf yes, my feet wouldn't get cold on a muddy surface. So now I've taken my mucky trousers off. That also helps give it some form, And my shoes it? and all of that. Press studs. Stick it back together. I make that four press Ta -da! studs. So now what's it called? Altura Dirt Kit Bag. There we go. So if you are one of those people that has to drive to ride, or perhaps you have white carpets in your house, yep. uh, then this could be just the thing for you. Yep. So as I, I have- it at home, really, when I yeah. get back. I mean, when I don't want to ride from the home, I'm not often coming through the <coughs> garage, covered in whatever we're covered in at the moment, and I usually have to get but almost naked. Yeah. And I want somewhere to put it so that I can process it with a layer and when I can face the do ordeal and do that, can't you? So, but it's meant to be for car park usage, isn't it? I think so. Stand in it, open so it out a bit, give you a bit more room. I mean, it's a good like size and shape to sort of slot in the back of your boot or whatever as well without kind of slumping everywhere. It's yeah. a nice box. Yep. So you put all your stuff in it for this all your ride. Rip stop, nylon. Yep. Uh, it's waterproof, which you may think, well, so what? But it's in case you get things pooling in water in there, it's not going to come out the sides and go all over the inside of your boots. You could also use it to get changed on at the start of the ride, so you didn't set off with like wet socks. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And how many of us have actually got the balance core muscles and whatever to put shoes and socks on while standing on one leg? Uh, without sitting down, <laughs> not me. Yeah, um, so you can put these up, can't you? Put those together around. You can yep. put your helmet straps through these things as well, keep it all together. Yeah, these are like not attached so that you can clip things through. It's something yeah. very specific for a specific job. And but why it, not yeah. have something for the job? The something tool that works. for the job in hand. Yeah, and it would mean that you would get to your ride with all your stuff there. That's and true, yeah. you haven't like left something critical like your yep. shoes at home and then you don't leave anything in the car park. I left a whole set of Allen keys in the car park not long ago, not so long ago. That was very sad. I've driven off with a helmet on the roof. <laughs> well, you find out pretty quick. <laughs> um, but you know, I probably, did I keep using it? I can't remember. It felt it looked like do. it was all right, but no, not great. Wow. So that would stop that happening at least. Yep. So uh, it's as we said, padded. Oh, it up again. You could use it as like a sit mat. It's as bigger well, than you think when it's open. I'll have my trousers back. Yes, please do. <laughs> well, it does, oh yeah, the sides are padded as well. So yeah. it does have a bit of structure. So, so yeah. Well, so good. it's like you could sit on the edge of there as well and right. not get a cold, wet bum. Yep. Let's hold it up again. Come on. You're quite into this now, aren't you? It's like origami. I think my key well, it's obviously, on the last I don't want to go yeah, there ever again. Obviously so, superior to an IKEA bag. It looks like it's comfier and warmer and just generally... The thing with IKEA bags, you lob them around a bit and you you've not done it properly and uh, everything falls out. Mm -hmm. And that's quite a small footprint that you could put in the back of your whatever doink in its own little contained area, which is nice. Yeah, quite pleasing. Yep. So there we go, the Altura, what's it called? Pretty sure it's a dirt kit bag. Dirt kit bag, there we go. So I don't know how are you gonna win this? I have no idea. If you haven't learned by now, where have you been? We went about day teens, aren't we? Or yes, teens? nearing nearing the end. Yep. <gasps> So this mega bag is going into the mega sack. You could win it today, you release. could win it in the mega sack and go to singletrackworld.com because if you don't know, then just go there and catch up. 
I'll get all the instructions on there. Find this store, it'll be called the Altura Dirt Kit Bag. Cool. All right, done. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Uncomfortable. I don't know what they show, so that you can take all your manky things off. Right, off. If, if you, but I'll I'll mess with my yeah that would work. The, yeah. I think you should present from there. <sighs> from up here, I am the elf on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs>